the applications that obviously the high power lasers are, are, are geared towards are being cutting, welding, annealing, sintering. So get back to the original title slide, what does a beam watch have to do with blue skies? Well, we all know that the sun is radiating uh, white light. White light is coming through the atmosphere. It's hitting both oxygen and nitrogen molecules. Those molecules are absorbing the photons of the, uh, the, the sun, and they're re-radiating at this kind of a intensity. So you'll see here that you know, out in the purple is the most radiation being given off by those molecules, and way out here in the infrared is, is almost done. So one would ask, so why is the sky purple? Because that's what most radiation is being given off. Here's a responsivity curve of our eye. Our eye doesn't see purple very well. It sees best in blue. So the sky is blue, not because it's giving off blue at the highest uh, intensity, it's blue because that's the way our eye sees it's most responsive in the blue area. So that's what we're doing with beam watch. We're actually looking not at the laser beam itself, but the scatter, the really scatter of what it's doing, what that beam is doing to the oxygen particles, the nitrogen particles between it and the working surface. So in summary, we're able to instantly, and that's every 60 milliseconds, measure focus spot size. We're finding where it is relative to the datum on the delivery optics. Uh, we're able to measure from one kilowatt and up. Uh, currently, we've measured up to 30 kilowatts, but we're uh, momentarily about to do this with uh, we've got access to a 100 kilowatt source. Um, it is non-contact, completely passed through, so the higher the, the, the beam power, it doesn't matter to us. Call 866-755-5499 to discuss your laser application with a sales engineer. Or visit us on the web at ophiropt.com slash photonics. Ophir Spiricon Photon, the true measure of laser performance.